the Punan Bar attire. Generally, traditional Punan ethnic clothing consists of bajau itu, batuok we ule, and batuok kenyang. In Punan language, batuok refers to a head, we means beratan, and ule also uh, writing or engraving. So, batuok ule meaning a head made of ratan with engraving. Batu of Kenya originally not belonging to Puna tribe but to the Kenya tribe. But cultural exchange have led to a, the missing of traditional dress between races. Name Kenya on Batu of Kenya itself and it's referred to the Kenya ethnicity. Both heads are a precious remnant of our forefathers. So now we are going to talk about Punan accessory attire which is known as Batok We Ule and Batok Kenya. Usually this accessory Punan people will wear together with their traditional attire. Batok We Ule is a hat that Punan women will wear which is usually in black and dark brown color. Meanwhile, Batok Kenya is for Punan men usually in white color at the head either white, red, black and yellow bird feathers will be attached together in the head. Uh, hi, I'm Chen. Today I'm going to talk about the Pulan norm. And for Pulan, it is almost impossible to get a partner from a secondary rice farming group because the Pulan are considered by the later primitive and uncivilized. They also feel themselves to be inferior. In addition, it is difficult to find partners and arrange marriage in other Pulan groups as they lack permanent settlement and are frequently moving. They must therefore look for partners in their own group. Therefore, they get married with their so closely related, which is making them hardly distinguished by their similar look. Meanwhile, the Pulan women are responsible for second third of all agricultural work, such as cassava, rice and so on. When the number of children who attend school down river increase, there are fewer daughters who can assist their mothers in taking care of the smaller children and doing the housework. Hi, I'm going to talk about Punan Snow. Punan group is currently associated with the farming group. The culture of the Punan group appears very close to that of its nearest agricultural neighbor. Punan in fact share a certain feature of language and culture, which may represent a common inheritance or substratum from a very old, perhaps pre-Australasian ancestor group. Hi guys, I'm going to be talking about taboos, which is food taboo. While king korba seems to be avoided by all groups, the best is eaten by some and not by others. Certain animals and species are generally considered dangerous or inappropriate for women. Those foods are pythons, the clouded leopard, the bear, the pigtail and longtail macaques, and also rhinoceros hornbill. Those who are connected to these food taboos is the pregnant woman. During pregnancy, the future parents have to observe a number of prohibitions and taboos. They cannot eat certain animals such as frogs, turtles, and pangolins. Hello, my name is Yuvin, and today I'm going to present about the Punan Bakipo. When there is a newborn child in Punan family, they consider this baby just little more than a mere body, like carrying basket and a physical shell called as alat. They think ancestor's spirit takes up residence in the newborn child gradually and become a human being, Lino. This newborn baby is indicated as a proper human being when baby is able to turn its body or break through first tooth. It is then when baby is given a name and considered as a person in its own right as a new member of society. Before this, they think baby just as a flesh being with no name and no life. Based on this belief, they think the ancestor's soul inside the child can easily run away when they are scared. So they think children must be handled with greatest care at least till they are about four years old and when they become more secure. So due to this, Physically punishing the child is to beat a taboo in Funamba people.